Visibility indicates what code has access to some element in your UML diagram. The attributes and operations of a class, for example, have visibility that may be public, private, or protected. You can specify visibility for the elements inside a package. Unlike attributes and operations in class diagrams, however, the elements inside a package have only two levels of visibility, public and private. An element with public visibility may be used outside the package that contains it. An element with private visibility may be used only by other elements that belong to the same package. In packages, you show visibility in the same way that you show them with the attributes and operations of a class, and that's with a plus or minus sign. Use a plus sign for public visibility, and use a minus sign for private visibility. So we've made these classes inside our utilities package all public. When might a private class come into play in a package diagram? Well, you want to use private visibility to indicate a helper class, one that helps to implement a component or subsystem that you don't want exposed to the system as a whole. So in our example, let's create a class that'll be a helper class. Let's have it help out the math class, and we'll call this class Cruncher. Notice the minus sign indicates that this class in our package has private visibility, so only other classes within the same package can see and use the Cruncher class. So when the math class needs to calculate a square root or a sign, for example, it calls the Cruncher class. The Cruncher class is a helper class that doesn't need to be used outside the utilities package, and so we make that a private element inside of our package. You don't need to include the visibility for every element in your package, but do use it when visibility makes things clearer. When you want to specify, for example, that there is a private class or a private element that you don't want exposed to the entire system.